guys I just realized I never filmed the intro to our video today so I'm gonna do that real quick <laughs> so hi guys welcome back to our channel I'm Kat and this was what we sold in a day and this is a little like um haul video from our North Carolina trip and a local pickup today so yeah stay tuned okay so I'm just gonna give you guys our rundown real fast I know we don't usually do our um what sold like this but like I said in the intro, Josh is at work today, so it's just me doing everything, and I really want to get this stuff shipped out. Um, we usually have super fast shipping time. If you look at our feedback on our um, eBay store, we have 100% feedback, and a lot of our um, comments are super fast shipping, because usually we ship in one day, um, regardless, even though our handling time is three days, usually. So I just wanted to ship all this stuff out as soon as possible, so I'm just going to give you guys a rundown. Some of the stuff is packaged, and I'm going to explain so this is um two pikachu plushes um they're really small that's why they're in a package together um i just threw them in the poly mailer when i went to go store them so they're just really two really small pikachu plushes um i paid two dollars at a thrift well i paid a dollar 98 at a thrift store for both of them and i sold them for seven dollars so that was that one this is a finding nemo mug and this is how i store breakables and my totes um i'll have to show you guys how we store our ebay store basically but we store it all in totes so what i do is i wrap breakables in um packing paper and i tape them up and i just write what's on them so all the mugs are stored in the same tote and um this is just a finding nemo pixar disney mug it's just nemo's face the whole mug is just nemo's body so it's just him um i paid a dollar for him at a thrift store and I sold him for $9.99. Both of these items right here sat in our eBay store for a really long time. So I was glad to finally get rid of them. Um, sold another Mega Construct. Um, I actually took a best offer on this one. I think I had it listed for $5.99 and I took a best offer of $5. So we hadn't really sold any of these and I only have a couple of these left. And I'm really trying to clear space in our store right now for Christmas. Because we got some stuff planned and we got a lot of stuff. And we probably have about 27, maybe 30 totes of unprocessed death pile stuff. And if you're an eBay seller, you know what your death pile is. Our death pile is humongous right now. So we're trying to get ready for Q4. <sighs> Q4. We're trying to make it a big one. So, um, yeah. Paid a dollar. Sold it for five. Sold a ton of games. I'm going to start with the Game Boy Advance game. This is Pokemon Pinball. So Josh basically got this for free. Um, we went to a local thrift store and what ended up happening was they had a bag of a Game Boy um, Nintendo DS and it had like, I don't know, 10 or so games in it and they sold it to him for $5. Now I'm going to just say the DS, the Nintendo DS was free or was $5 and all the games were free. So we sold a couple of the games so far. We kept the DS to test DS games and Game Boy Advance games on. Then as we were leaving, they brought out a, um, a Nintendo DS XL because it didn't have a charger that was donated. They gave that to us for free too. So I'm going to say that this was a free item. So Pokemon Pinball got it for free and we got $15.99 yeah, $15 for that. Then we sold a ton of games, so I'm just gonna go through them. All the games we basically pay a dollar for. So this is SpongeBob the Movie for PlayStation 2, paid a dollar, and we got what did we get for play SpongeBob? $9.99. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, paid a dollar, and got $7.99. Um, Legends of Wrestling. What did we do? Paid a dollar, got $6.99. Crash Bandicoot, paid a dollar, and we got $8.99. Tony Hawk's Underground, paid a dollar, got $13.99. Um, this movie, this movie was from a free pile at one of our local thrift stores. Um, they had probably about 20 to 25 DVDs, and if any money was to be made on these DVDs, we listed them on eBay. So if I could make basically any money on them, I listed them. And this is called The Block Party. Um, never seen it. Not really my kind of movie. Um, 
it was free and I got four dollars plus shipping for it so yeah I'll take it um these lights so these lights are interesting they're two of the exact same lights um Josh found these at a local thrift store usually if it has a barcode that man will scan anything so these are Dynatrap ultraviolet replacement bulbs no idea but apparently they don't make these anymore so he scanned them threw them in my cart and I was kind of like what are you buying bulbs for He's like, dude, look, look at, look at the comps on these. They're crazy. And I was like, okay, well, we sold them in like one day. We sold these two bulbs. So we paid $2 for them and we sold them for $55.98. So crazy, crazy good um, return on investment there. So yeah, good job, Josh. And then the last thing we sold yesterday was these Unity candles. And these are, like, for your wedding. So, you know, you take the two candles and you light the one in the middle. I don't know what we paid for these. I'm not going to lie. So, this was uh, retail arbitrage. So, we got this at a party city. Now, the reason why I say I don't know what we paid for these is because this party city was going out of business. And the young fellow behind the register was clearly upset. And he was basically under ringing everything. He would scan like every couple of items and just throw them in the box because we had a box because we were buying so much. Because my nephew's birthday is in October and we were doing a Star Wars party and they just have, have a ton of Star Wars stuff there. So we had just a mountain of Star Wars items and then we did a little retail arbitrage because these candle sets sell for about $18.99. But they were 90% off, so I want to say they were $32, something like that. So they should have cost us about $3. And we got two of them because we weren't too sure because I don't think any had sold on eBay. And I didn't want to be stuck with them. So we didn't really grab too many of them. But we did grab some like garter belts and some like lower end stuff which have sold. So I, I'm pretty sure he only rang us up for one. So I just wrote down that... We paid two dollars for it but i'm not sure if we paid two dollars for this so we sold 12 items um in the last i think 36 hours um and our total cost was 12.98 and we made 164 dollars so i'm gonna go package all this up real fast and get it ready for josh to take to the post office when he comes home on his lunch break and then i'm gonna show you guys a um a haul a little haul that we got from a um a church sale we, uh, when we got back, when we went to North Carolina, we went to a, um, a church sale while we were there, and we got some really cool stuff, and I'm, I'm just going to talk about the church sale. Um, it was my first church sale since we've been doing reselling pretty hardcore, um, and I think we got some really cool stuff. Like, we hit some home runs there, and I really want to get some of it to put on eBay, and I can't do that until I show you guys. So, uh, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of some of the stuff we got from this church sale. Um, at, I don't remember what it was called. I'll have to look it up. In Durham, North Carolina for the weekend. We, we usually go out of town for our birthdays. Um, this is the first kind of birthday trip though that we kind of worked the whole time. So we found a church sale. Um, Josh had been to a local church sale without me because I had to work. So we, we've been on the lookout for church sales because church sales are generally super cheap. Um, this one was no exception. Almost everything was a dollar or under a dollar. So we, it was about 30 minutes away from our hotel. So we wanted to get there before seven. The advertisement said from seven till four, I think. And it was an outside sale. So we left our hotel about 6 a.m. And when we got there at 6.30, people were already rummaging through the parking lot. So we immediately got out of the car. We were going to put on our GoPro and everything. But with the way everybody was kind of like making piles everywhere, we just didn't even like think about it. We just kind of got out of the car as fast as we could and grabbed a bag and started to make a pile. So we're just going to show you guys. Well, I'm going to show you guys because he's at work. Um, some of the stuff we grabbed. The whole reason why I'm doing this like quick little haul today on the back end of our video uh, about what we sold is so I can get some of the stuff put in our booth. Um, trying to get our booth ready for the weekend. It is um, Labor Day Labor Day weekend coming up and um, I really want to get some of this. I'm trying to get our booth super full. Um, 
I know we've sold a few things in our booth. I'll have to show you guys our booth. I'm going to hope, I'm going to hope we go there today. So, um, I'm just going to run through this stuff real quick. Um, I don't, I don't know what this is. This is Tupperware. Um, it's, it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. No idea. I'm pretty sure she charged me like 50 cents or a dollar for it. Um, I got a set of Campbell's soup cups. Just plain old Campbell's soup cups. But I thought they were cute. I'm going to put them in my booth. Um, and then inside of them, I got... I've got some little people. I've sold these before on eBay. So we spent a total of $18 at this church sale. So like I said, it was super cheap. Some kids were like in charge of being the cashiers. And they were like, if there was no price, then it's a buck. Um, piece of Pyrex. Um, this is the opaque okay green. Um, I'm gonna have to look this up. It's not in the best condition. I kind of it's not in the greatest condition. But I'll still be able to get a little bit of money for it. I grabbed some Pioneer Woman cookbooks. I have a few pieces of um, Pioneer Woman stuff in my booth right now. I think I have a recipe card, tin, and I have a sugar bowl. So I just grabbed these. These were a dollar a piece. I'm probably going to put 5 to $8 on them and put them under that. So um, I grabbed some Coke cups. They're Christmas. They were $0.50 cents for two. So again, for the booth. I grabbed these. Um, LG 3D glasses. It was a two pack. I didn't even scan these. I'm pretty sure she charged me 50 cents or a dollar for them. Like I said, church sales are usually super cheap. Um, Josh grabbed this cassette recorder. It's a Sony. Um, I don't know if he looked for corrosion. I'm sure he did. Yeah, he looked. He's pretty good at looking for corrosion now. Oh my god, I gotta move these cups. That's gonna drive me insane. Um, I picked this up, this call for help thing. I think it scanned at $12, um, but it was brand new. Um, it had staples in it still, so it hadn't been opened yet. So $12 wasn't that bad. Um, we grabbed this stack of Tupperware. This is newer Tupperware, but it was really pretty. Like I loved the colors, so I grabbed it. Um, I figured I could throw it in the booth, super cheap. He grabbed this. I don't even know what it is. What is this? Um, fun numbers card game. Okay. He probably scanned it. Or if it was brand new, he might not have scanned it because it was 75 cents. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he grabbed this. 1990s NFL card sealed. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder what this goes for. Interesting. Usually I don't question what Josh grabs. Because he's he's getting pretty good at this. Um, in the beginning, you can kind of tell like he didn't know what he was doing. But now, because eBay used to just be my thing. Um, I've kind of been eBaying since I was like really young. My mom was kind of into it. And my parents have always been kind of like flippers. So... Uh, it was kind of just my thing and then uh, he's gotten super into it so he's kind of picking up on things and I try and tell him like you know sell things you like and sometimes you'll you'll get like a spidey sense for it you know you could just kind of tell things that'll sell so um, I picked this up it was a Hallmark Itty Bitties but it's a the wise men um, it retailed for like $29 which I thought was crazy um, it was a buck but it was brand new um, we grabbed this. Um, I actually saw this in their advertisement. This was a dollar, but it's a McDonald's cash register. I didn't even look it up, but it works. And it says like, Food and yogurt parfait. <laughs> like, Apple desserts. Oh, okay. I thought that was cute though. For a dollar, I figured it could either like go in our booth or maybe it sells really well on eBay. Who knows? And then in this Trader Joe's bag, this is all cookie cutters, like metal cookie cutters. Like, just, um, you know, metal cookie cutters for some reason. Somebody tied them all together. Oh, that's strange. But, um, I got these for Christmas for my booth. Um, I'm probably gonna do, like, uh, mystery bags of cookie cutters. Just something different. Um, the booth's kind of in our antique mall. They don't really do stuff like that. Um, nobody's really doing mystery bags or anything. So, 
I figured I could do that. Or I could just put peg hooks up there and put like 50 cents on them and sell them that way. I don't, I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. But I wanted to get the cups and stuff in my booth for this weekend and the books and the Pyrex and stuff. And I haven't even started putting Tupperware in my booth yet. So we kind of are getting tight on space. Or I don't want to say we're getting tight on space. But we're getting limited on space because we've only been in there for maybe... We've only been in there for about eight days now. And we haven't really sold a lot. But it hasn't really it hasn't really been busy in there yet. We haven't really done a full weekend yet. Because the first weekend we were in there, we were only about halfway in there. Now we're kind of like fully in there. So, I mean, it, it's going to be... This is going to be our first real test of the weekend. Um, so I'm trying to get as much in there as possible. And today I'm going to take some wooden crates that I have. Um, I've got a couple chairs that I'm going to take in there just to kind of be as booth fillers. Um, do a little rearranging, I think. Josh, ha it's hard to explain without showing you guys. But we kind of like half to the booth. So half the booth is kind of like dishes, corningware, Pyrex, and um, things like that. And then the other half of the booth is like video games and toys and like vintage -y stuff and then there's a little section of like kind of like a men's theme section so it's got like same some like uh, sports books and some like playing cards and like poker sets and you know just like stuff you would buy your dad like license plates and things like that cassette tapes um I'm gonna try and get way more stuff in there today and just try and utilize our space a little bit better Hopefully. It depends on how Josh feels when he gets off of work. So thanks guys for watching. Um, if you like what you see, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching today. Bye.